else noticed last week's uh like daily challenge dusty mcdust face i love it i love it thank you forza yo what's good girl for one three here back in the day and today guys we're here for a brand new season in forza horizon 4 this time being spring which will last from today april 4th to next thursday april the 11th but of course the brand new season means a brand new set of weekly forza launch challenges new horizon festival playlist rewards and new forza shop stock but let's go to start things off with our weekly forza challenge the goat question mark and i definitely think that this car is in the running for that title starting things off we have technological masterpiece own and drive the legend that once held the record of the world's fastest production car the 1993 mclaren f1 now this car is quite pricey but there are some different ways to get your hands on it this week which we'll get to here in a little bit after that we have bold and uncompromising experience this car's unique driving position with two road circuit events in your mclaren f1 now what they mean by this is unlike most cars which either have you sit on the left side of the car or the right side of the car the mclaren f1 has you sit in the middle of the car with the passenger seats on the side so that is something that is very interesting about this car although let's be honest if you have one of these you probably ain't going to have too many passengers with you but then after that we have is engineered to perfection unleash the raw power of its 6.1 liter v12 engine and earn 25 ultimate speed skills in your mclaren f1 of course that means going faster than 200 miles an hour but for a car that at one point was the world's fastest production car that is not going to be a problem at all then finally we have all conquering icon humiliate your opponents by winning the street scene event at the marathon in your mclaren f1 i actually don't think i've ever done the marathon so this will be something new. now we do have a couple of difficult weekly or not weekly daily challenges that is this week now starting things off we have moonslot combine air and wreckage skills to earn two crash landing skills now what you have to do is you actually have to land first and immediately crash into something now it cannot be something solid otherwise you're just going to lose your air skill but it has to be something breakable that would cause a wreckage skill of course you know that that sounds a lot easier than it is because you do have to find an area with a jump where you can quickly hit something else to break one of the places that i can think of is there's that nice little drag strip up kind of north near uh the city where they've got all that stuff right there and the jumps you know i think that might actually be a really good place to get some of these skills then as well down here at the bottom we actually have earn two wrecking ball skills in bolt in a china shop i'm not entirely sure what necessarily causes a wrecking ball skill they just seem to happen for me but really, if you just kind of head somewhere and you just start wrecking into things, eventually you are bound. So after that, we have our co-op trial, which looks to be featuring some classic racers as we've got this Jaguar E-Type lightweight. Oh my god, though, that is a glorious looking car. Wait, no, is it an, is it an E-Type or is that a D-Type? I really, oh god, that's going to make some people mad. I'm not entirely sure, although people are going to be more mad about the way I pronounce Jaguar. But that's beside the point. I'm not going to get into that right now. Had a huge argument with it the other day, actually. But then for our seasonal playground games, you can also win the Dodge Charger Daytona, which you can currently purchase in the auto show for 900,000 credits. So that's why it says it is a hard-to-find car. Really, it's just an expensive car in the auto show. So if you don't really want to have to do the playground games, you probably don't have to. Because you can just go pick this car up for a little bit under a million credits. Then as well, we have the white top hat reward in ludicrous speed. Which looks to be featuring hypercars as he's standing right in front of that beautiful, beautiful McLaren P1. We also got a very interesting event down here, which is the Veloster Raptor. Where you have the choice to be in either the Hyundai Veloster or the Ford Raptor. And here's another one that I thought is kind of interesting. I like this shot. I like this shot a lot because I love that boss body kit on there. <clears throat> I really, really do. But we got a PR stunt at a drift zone, so I know that's going to be a little challenging for some of y'all. So do bear that in mind. So then finally, what are our festival playlist rewards this week? And I'm going to tell you guys, this is the best week, in my opinion, for these new festival playlist rewards. As our 50% completion reward 
is the 2019 Toyota Supra. I'm just joking with you. It's the 2019 BMW Z4, which was in a collaboration with the Supra, so they do share a lot of the same components. But then our 80% completion reward is a very rare car indeed, and that is the BMW M3 GTR. Forrest even jokes about the fact that this car is more famous for being in another racing game franchise. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. But right now, let's go in and see what is going on in the Forza Thon shop. So starting things off in our typically Forza Edition car slot, we have the 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO coming in at a whopping 654 stump points, which is kind of a steal considering the fact that this car in the auto show costs 10 million credits. I mean, this thing is one expensive pony boy i mean jesus christ that's a lot of money i checked this car out in the auction house though and it is going for less than half of that at the moment i saw some examples of these going for around 3.8 million i ended up bidding on one for 5 million and i had no competition with it so between 3.8 and 5 million is really kind of the sweet spot the minimum buyout price available on this car is five and a half million so you can automatically pick one of those up pretty easily or you can just kind of wait and go through the auction process and hopefully you'll get it. But to be honest, that is getting a lot harder. I hate how the auction system works in this game. It is not fun at all. I really liked how it used to be in like Forza Motorsport 4, Forza Motorsport 3, Horizon 3. Horizon 3 had a good auction house. Like this one, I don't, I don't like it. I really, really don't. But after that, what we have is the 1993 McLaren F1. So like I was saying earlier, this car is expensive. It costs 2 million credits in the auto show. Or you can pick it up for 500 four slump points if you so choose. Now the difference between this car and the Ferrari is the fact that this car does sell quicker. If you throw one of these up in the auction house, it'll get eaten up so quickly it is absolutely ridiculous. The Ferrari on the other hand though, you're going to have to wait a little bit. People aren't just, you know, going out and spending that five and a half million on it right away because it's not really going for that much. But the McLaren with a couple of little upgrades on it, you know, I've been seeing these things going for 2 million, 2.2 million. I ended up buying mine for 2 million credits and it already had a 998 tune available on it. So that is something to bear in mind. I think with the McLaren, if you decide to try and make some money off your four slump points, the McLaren will sell faster, but the Ferrari will make you more money. So, just kind of bear that in mind. Next up, what we have, though, is something I'm really disappointed in. For us to stop making so many damn t-shirts, we have the RTR Fun Haver Gray and the RTR Fun Haver White, both at 154 slum points each. Then, finally, what we have is our Super Wheel Spins and Regular Wheel Spins, which, again, go unchanged. 44 slump points for a regular wheel spin and 154 slump points for a super wheel spin. But right now, let's actually go ahead and do a couple of super wheel spins and see if we can get anything good. All right, let's give it a spin. Come on. Big money, no whammy. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, oh, I'm not seeing anything good in this one. Come on, please at least give me the one gold. Oh, oh, ugh. That's a terrible spin. Oh my god. 60k. Oh dear lord. That's a terrible spin. Oh my god. That's that's probably one of the worst spins you can get besides the 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, which I have got in the past. Come on. Give us something good. Give us. A, I saw that Fair Lady Z. That'll be a free 300k. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh that's not good either. 20k. A Lotus Alon, which is not too terrible, and the Aerial Nomad, which again, I don't think is too terrible either. So, but anyway, though, guys, that is where we're going to go and wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 13 and instagram.com forward slash girl 13 As well, if you guys like this video, go and make sure to hit that like button down below for us, because you already know the edge of support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye. I can't believe I'm buying these.